Dan Collins alongside Matsu Miner skipper Ben Taylor here for the week three edition of Taylor's Take In in the Alaska Baseball League standings. Now, three games between you and the rest of the bunch behind you. So, what's the importance of that? Not only remaining in first place, but now finally within this one month to go, creating a little bit of separation. Yeah, separation is always good. You know, it gives us a little bit of time. The pitching in this league is so good. So, you know, a one run game, as you've seen the last couple nights, can go either way. So, it just gives us a little bit of breathing room. Um, yeah, it's nice to be, I mean, that's where we want to be, and you just got to keep plugging along one day at a time. And we noticed a couple more players walking around with the t-shirts with the letters OTG on the back. It seems like more and more as the weeks go on. Can you just talk about what that necessarily stands for and how exactly you could get an OTG shirt here in Ben Taylor's clubhouse? Well, it stands for On the Grind, and it's something I started doing seven years ago when I was managing in the Texas Collegiate League, and, uh, I think we played something like 12 of our first 16 on the road. It was the worst schedule ever invented. And uh, we came back 12 and 4, and the guys were really grinding hard, and we wanted to do something to reward them for that. So we came out with these T-shirts. And then it's become not necessarily a player of the game type thing, but a reward for guys that are, you know, playing well and working hard and taking care of their business and, uh, you know, doing all the kinds of things that, we expect out of guys and, you know, that they should expect from themselves. Absolutely. And last week with my broadcast partner, Jordan Swig, he talked a little bit about the back end of the bullpen. How you have Maybe you guys him. will get one. How you have, perhaps. We'll Maybe. See. The other broadcasters have. So If uh, if we start going on the grind, well, I'm going to go on the grind with this Taylor's take for the rest of it. Last week you talked a little bit about the back end of the bullpen, majority-wise being Gage Berlin and Jordan Floyd. You said he was your ninth inning man. Uh, I was just wondering maybe if there's a little bit more – consistency with the starting rotation as well. You have another man, Cody Deason, coming in. Jordan Frederick just got here. Stephen Kolick's made a couple mm-hmm. starts. So it seems like you have a lot of quality arms that could start here for the Miners. Is there any maybe four, five, six-man rotation that's been set, or are we still Well, we're in a five-man now, and I think Deason, who starts tomorrow, makes it a six. And it just gives guys an extra day of rest, you know, going forward. We want our arms fresh in July, and, you know, July's a big month, and... Um, you know, the bullpen, the back end, the roles have been pretty much, I'm not going to say set, but we've got a good idea and guys know when they're supposed to pitch and, and what we expect out of them. Mm-hmm. And July definitely being a big month, a lot of games. Last month of the season, it's the final haul. All-star game coming up. Have you maybe thought about no. any of your guys who could be worthy for that? No, I mean, there's so many good players in this league and our guys have done a good job. And This is just a good team, you know. Everybody chips in. Um, everybody's been contributing, so... Whatever happens with the All-Star Game happens with the All-Star Game. It's a special day, and it's a real honor to be an ABL All-Star. But, you know, a lot can happen in these next, what is it, two weeks before the All-Star Game? I mean, the guys at bat totals are still, you know, in that spot where a guy has a three-hit night as B.A. could jump 20 points. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned everybody kind of doing their job to chip in. And earlier you said a couple of those grinded-out wins – and uh, what you would maybe call working man's runs coming here. Yeah, there, so. working man's runs. They're what the it, best. What is it like as a skipper seeing a lot of these grinded out wins where everybody's just doing their best to contribute in whichever way you can, whether that be with a crucial pinch run or a sack fly? Oh, it's great, man. I mean, it's guys playing baseball, you know. I mean, we've got a lot of talented players and a, talent, a lot of talented athletes, but when you can get those guys to play baseball, you know, move a runner when they need to, have a tough two-strike at bat, um, you know, drive in a run when we have to, make a big pitch. I mean, it, it, it's critical for us, you know. I mean, it's just, it's a nice thing. I mean, the biggest thing is we've done a nice job hit with two outs. I mean, we've got, we say all the time, move the line and get the next man up, and that's that's something I'm really proud of is the way these guys go about their business. Mm-hmm. Baseball is definitely known for being a game with a lot of superstitions involved. And yeah. We always like to tell the listeners at home, whether they're, you know, if they're getting the live feed or just kind of, doing the dishes and having the YouTube playing in the background, the uniforms that the Miners are wearing, we've noticed that the greens have been retired for quite some time. Is that a superstitious thing? Or? No, we just don't like them, man. We went 0-2 in Kenai with them and didn't hit at all. And, you know, I mean, we've got these really nice new camos that we got. And, uh, you know, the home whites are so nice that, you know, the greens probably, they'll they'll rear their ugly head at some point. But we're, we get these nice new unis, so it's kind of, it's cool to have them. So this is the the final stretch, just about exactly a month before postseason comes. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you guys can stay in first place and perhaps be the home team for the majority of the postseason, but 
regardless of how that pans out, what's just that final message you're, you know, you're telling your boys here in the last hall of the season, a lot of them here still working on their craft, they've been doing it for about a month already, but yeah, now it's about time to end, and I'm sure you, know, you obviously want to play together as a team, but, you know, what's just that final message for them to Oh, dude, we got here? such a long way to go. I mean, there's so many, it doesn't look like there's very many games on the calendar left, but there's a lot of baseball to be played. Like, we play, what, 10 games in our next eight days, and you know, I mean, it's just a one day at a time, one inning at a time, one pitch at a time thing with this group. And, you know, guys are really committed to getting their early work in, getting their extra work in. They're super coachable. And uh, it's really just enjoy each day being a minor and uh, getting a chance to play up here in the ABL. Skip, thanks a lot for joining us this week. And that is going to wrap up the week three edition of Taylor's Take here on your Matsu Miners Radio Network. Thanks, guys.